Well, we just wanted to take a minute to say hi to all of you and express our appreciation. Um, we are all going through our own challenges and we've been thinking of you and the challenges that you might be facing. And we just wanted to let you know that we are praying for you and your families and the specific challenges that you're facing during this time. And uh, today is Palm Sunday, Sunday, a time of worshiping and welcoming uh, Jesus into Jerusalem and hailing him as king. Uh, many of those that did that had no idea what was ahead of them for the next week. And mm -hmm. uh, for 24 days, we've been in place in at place. home uh, with our four children who are still with us. Mm -hmm. uh, so our oldest, Lily, is in her fifth year of college studying for her CPA. And then Anna is a junior at UGA. And they were on uh, spring break uh, at the end of March and then uh, just stayed at home and have been at home ever since then. And we also have Phoebe our, um, is a senior in high school and um, Lucy, who's a sophomore. So the four of them are here with us. And then our oldest daughter, Dorothy Grace, who is married, she and her husband, the weekend that the quarantine began, <coughs> moved into a new home. So they're quarantining there about 30 minutes from here and both working from home. And if you're like us, you've used the advantages of technology to stay in touch with family and with friends, with coworkers. And uh, we've been able to continue our ministry uh, with crew uh, in some pretty significant ways mm -hmm. uh, through online, though things are definitely different than they used to be before. Um, I'm, I've been working on a project for three years on research uh, within the city division of crew. And I've been uh, traveling around the country doing what we call road shows. And it helps people learn how to have uh, gospel engagement in a changing culture. And uh, we talk in that uh, presentation, uh, in those modules, we talk about the changing culture and how it's rapidly changing the 24 seven news cycle. And that we have seen more rapid change over the last 10 years than we have in all of history. And I think we could all agree in the last three weeks, we've experienced more change than we could ever imagine. Mm -hmm. And the way we approach gospel engagement uh, really needs to look different. And so um, we have adapted a lot of our training to be online to help people know how they can most effectively uh, reach out to others in this difficult time. And I've been <laughs> continuing online um, our Every Word 90 Day Read Through the Bible. My um, Molly, my friend that I partner with in that teaching, um, we have continued our teaching online each week. Um, we have two more weeks to go and we have about <clears throat> 100 readers who are reading with us this year and we're excited to hear of other groups popping up. Our daughter Anna has gathered a group of friends that are going to be starting um, on Sunday, Easter Sunday, um, to begin their 90-day journey through the Bible. So anyway, I continue to do that, and um, we just are trying to make the most of our time together as a family and um, getting to see neighbors on walks and other things as we um, look for opportunities to love well in this time. And I'm also leading a 90-day group of about 18 men, and we meet at 6 a.m. on Mondays. We have uh, one more week of reading, uh, two more Mondays of meeting. Mm -hmm. It's really exciting uh, in these last 90 days to have been immersed in the Word, to do that in community, and to uh, grow in understanding the one true story of the whole world and how we play a part of that. Mm -hmm. So not, none of this takes God by surprise. It certainly does us. And it's an opportunity for us to respond in faith and in hope. And we realize in this time that all of us are experiencing some anxiety. And we uh, encourage you as we encourage remind ourselves to look to the truth of the word mm -hmm. to offer us that peace and the supernatural power uh, that Jesus provides for us that Paul writes about in Philippians. That we have access to peace that passes surpasses all understanding. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're praying that we experience that as a family, uh, as we're all together, that you experience that in your families, uh, wherever you may be. And we also pray for uh, God's greatest provision for you as you adapt and change in light of this new changing reality. We're so grateful for you mm -hmm. and uh, we wish you a great Holy Week. Yes, thank you.